guys welcome back to my channel so it's a monday it's a new day it's a new week and natanya hines is picking up a vlogging camera i have not vlogged in a hot minute i feel even weird to even hold this camera and i say that because i'm actually supposed to be a youtuber don't know what happened in that department guys i've been doing so many other things like uni and that Oh, my eyes irritate me but yeah anyways i decided i'm gonna vlog this week because i put my insta story like what type of videos do you want to see and please tell me why like 90 percent of you were like i want to see day in the life vlogs vlog 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 blah, 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 blah. all these requests for vlogs so here you go i'm vlogging this week all right so basically i had lectures today right now it's literally 10 a.m i'm getting ready to um go to school surprisingly like i don't have that many 9am lectures like, i know people be waking up at all 7 8am to catch a 9am lecture but i think the earliest time oh no sorry my lectures at 11am guys oh my gosh i got so scared for a second i thought i woke up too early no it's 10am right now i have an 11am but yeah some people actually have 9am lectures but i can't lie i think that happened like once like in the first two weeks and then since then the earliest time we ever have is 10am and i'm not complaining because that 10am even feels like a drag sometimes but yeah um i need to get ready because i can't be late i need to leave in about 30 minutes but i need to choose my outfit I always have to check the weather so I know what outfit to wear because it's actually getting cold now so I can't be going out anyhow. Okay, it's just gonna be cloudy, 13 degrees. So I'm thinking, oh, you shoot, what am I actually gonna wear? 14 degrees, that's cold, isn't it? Oh, why is my eye irritating me? I don't know if I showed you guys, but on my birthday, if it was on my, yeah, on my actual birthday, I went shopping and I bought this gilet from Zara and I have not worn it once. I don't know what to wear it with. I don't know how to style it. So I feel like I want to wear this today. Like I feel like I, but I don't know what to wear it with. That's the thing. Because it's white. Like, what would you wear a white jacket with? Do I wear it with a black tracksuit or a grey tracksuit? But the thing is, I wore my grey tracksuit like last week, but I washed it though. So like, who's actually going to check me? Let's be real. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to wear this for the first time spice it up a little bit and then either and then i can either wear it with my gray or my black tracksuit but i feel like gray would look better oh my god guys i haven't even shown you my new trainers let me show you i don't i don't remember what vlog it was but i think it was the vlog the vlog where I went to go visit my mum back at London for the first time and then I came back to uni and I was so depressed, I was so sad, I missed home, I wanted to go back. So as an impulsive decision to make me feel better, I decided to spend £500 on trainers. In hindsight, I don't regret it, but I think they were not worth £500, but they're still nice. Thank you guys. You don't really know I'm a Jordan babe. Shoot me. I don't have Yeezys. I don't have any other trainer. All I, all I wear is Jordan. But to be fair, I do want a pair of Yeezys. Especially now that Kanye and all that nonsense, there might not be any more Yeezys in the future. But yeah, I have a Jordan babe, but I never have Jordan 1s. But I wanted Jordan 4s. But Jordan 4s are so flipping expensive to get for resale price. Like, Jordan 1s are expensive as well. But Jordan 4s, like, you, all of the nice ones are expensive. So that's why I ended up spending £500 resale price to get Jordan 4s. But I like them though. They are nice. Yeah, I've worn them like twice because they're white shoe in it, so like you don't wear it often. So what they look like the Jordan 4 white Oreo. They are Leng, I can't lie, but not worth £500. Like, guys, don't spend £500 on these trainers. <laughs> but to be real, I feel like the reason why I don't care as much is because I actually used my student finance to buy them. Shoot me now, shoot me, spending student finance on trainers, whatever. But like, with my student finance, I don't know if this is oversharing, but is it oversharing? basically my student finance it cut like my student finance covers my rent and some like there's left over after i cover my rent for this place so basically with the remaining that's for like my food shop and da 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 so then i thought I might as well buy cheeky trainers with that money as well do you know what i mean but yeah i might actually wear those today because i can only wear them when it's not raining and in birmingham it flipping rains all the time so when it doesn't rain get all the white trainers out i don't know whether to wear the black guys what do you think i wish you guys could like reply to me like asap <laughs> but i don't know gray or white but the thing is because this is not white i know it looks white on camera it's like more cream i feel like it will look odd with gray so i feel like to wear the black 
but they're not trainers oh do you know what i tried both of them on but all i know is i had 30 minutes to get the facts i have about 20 minutes to get ready i still i need to do my hair oh shoot i still need to do my hair you know i need to hurry up i'm gonna have to turn back upstairs these are could just watch me get ready okay i haven't even tried the gray one on but i think the white looks fun yeah so hot i told you guys before yeah that i had to bring my own portable heater to uni because my accommodation's too cold this is where it chills like that but it's like so hot now like my room as soon as you walk in here it's like a sauna and i love it i can't lie all right so this is my outfit nothing special black tracksuit by the way all my black tracksuits are from paramount if you're wondering i get it from the men's section and i get it in like 2xl like i get it like the biggest size possible gilet from zara and in my Jordans. Guys, I can't lie, I'm actually so hungry, but normally I'd have like cereal for breakfast, but I literally have to leave like now, so I don't have time to have cereal. Also, who's coming? Also, another compulsive purchase, impulsive purchase that I bought. Cheeky little coffee machine. I basically, one day, I went to my friend's flat downstairs and she had like a coffee machine and she made me a coffee in it and she made me like a macchiato and I was like, oh, this actually tastes nice, you know? So then one day I went B&M and then I literally just saw it there and I bought it. It was only like £30, £35 um, and then I have all the like, the coffee pods. All the coffee pods in my cupboard, hot chocolate. This is, this is the best one, but then sometimes I mix it, mix it with like the espresso pod from the latte thing to make a mocha because like I'm that smart. Just mix hot chocolate and coffee and makes mocha. But yeah, I don't even have time to drink that. What I do, because I have like, oh, okay, I had a Starbucks takeaway cup. Where the hell is my Starbucks cup? Guys, is someone still my Starbucks cup? the hell okay when i get back i need to investigate that but yeah i have like a to-go cup like a coffee cup that you can like you don't know what i mean so i could drink that but sometimes when i drink that on the way to school like i get really hot because these gelees even though my arms are out bro i get so hot in them like my back gets so hot so i don't think i don't think i want to drink a hot drink on the way to school so instead i'm just gonna starve Today is also Monday, so it's food shop day because literally I have no food in my fridge. Like yesterday we had to order Nando's because I had no food to my name. Um, so yeah, I missed a big shop. I have no water either, like zero bottles of water. So I'm going to go to my lecture with no water. Hopefully I don't need to cough because that's so embarrassing. Um, other than that, yeah. Guys, I'm back from my lecture, but I actually forgot to um, vlog going there but i can't lie i was never vlogging inside the lecture hall anyway because that's very embarrassing but yeah it was research my food oh i thought that was my phone it's research my food and i can't lie that like, it's giving gcse maths like we're learning about bloody um range and what's up box plots stem and leaf i haven't heard those words since i was like 15 years old so i had to relearn all of that and i'm looking stressed out because i don't think i like university i don't think I low-key starting to believe that I might prefer my A-levels. A-levels were difficult, but I just feel like I understood what was going on. Whereas in uni, I feel like I'm just going with the flow that I actually know what's going on. But yeah. We're about to go shopping um, because I have no food in this house. And I'm actually hungry right now because I've had no breakfast. Because I have no food. So, let's not start at uni. Guys, I can't lie yet. <laughs> my kitchen at uni is actually trampy. And this is not even... Love it. this is not even like the worst of it bro when i tell you this is how the bin looks every day like all the time and sometimes there'll even be like extra spare bins on the floor everywhere like i don't know why it, and the thing is yeah we tried to do something where we made like a bin chart with everybody's names on it and i thought it was working because people started taking out the bin in order to tick off on there that like, yeah i've done it but still like it gets so full and the thing is when it's full like this you're probably thinking why don't i just take it but when it gets full to the brim i'm not gonna take it down because now the bag is gonna rip because it's too heavy and the other time it got full like this the flatmate uh, the other flatmate had to take down the whole entire bin as in pick up the actual bin downstairs because if you pick up the bag it's gonna break so i don't know why people do this but all i know is i got nando's today so i'm taking my own nando's by the way guys i'm actually a dumb girl my starbucks cup was in my car so no one stole it it's okay 
But yeah, we're at Asda right now. I don't know. You're a Ghanaian at heart. I know. Oh my god, my battery is dying, guys. I might not be able to record this Asda trip because the battery's about to die and I'm a dumb girl, I didn't charge it. But we're at Asda. The window weekly shot. Her. Guys, with my little car going on my little shopping, I feel like a proper right mom donna. Look at our little shopping. So Asda shop and our water's from Aldi. This water is literally like one pound something for this much and I finished the whole thing. And I saw our shopping. But right now we need to go to Iceland to get frozen food like chicken wings, ice lollies. I have a ob new obsession with ice lollies by the way, like I eat ice lollies like it's water. And yeah, that'll be our shopping and then we have school again at like 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Oh shoot, 4 o'clock. What time is it? It's even 2. <sighs> okay. Guys, we just came back but we're actually dumb girls because we can't even carry the shopping that we have. So our flatmate, strong man, is about to come downstairs and help us with the shopping. But I feel bad because it seemed like he was occupied. Oh well, when we live by ourselves next year, I don't know what we're gonna do with no man in the house. But in a house, you park directly outside, so it's calm. But I'm not going up how many flights of stairs with my shopping. I don't know what makes me think that I have to eat this whole entire pizza to myself, but I'm very hungry. I just did. This is so unlike me. I've had nothing the whole entire day, and it's three o'clock, and I've had no breakfast. So I'm eating a whole entire massive deep freeze pizza. No, but tell me why I thought. Why do I think I'm Stuff when oh I'm yeah, you know I didn't even, I didn't even cross my, good for me ate the pizza, because that would have taken up bare space in that pizza. Yeah, like... Guys, this is my weekly shop, yeah. I don't know what is like reasonable for a student to spend every week for themselves, but I spend about, okay, I'll say less than 30 more than, no actually. I spent, oh shoot, no. I spent 24 in Asda, and then I spent 10, and then I spent 10 in Iceland, so I spend £35 a week on grocery chicken. Whoopsies. I eat bare pizza. I think it can't be nice. Oh yeah. But you're gonna eat it now, no? Yeah, you can eat this week. Oh no, we have another predicament. <sighs> Guys, look at the predicament I'm in. My stuff doesn't even fit inside. Vlogging, think about my life. Should I freeze? Oh, I've had a piece of corn. You know, I had corn, I should have told you. You could have eaten it. It's in four, the four of corns. You don't know when you bought that? Huh? Was I with you when you bought that? Huh? Was I with you when you bought that? Um, I don't know, I think you were looking at other vegetables. I think you were getting the potatoes. Uh, oh, where am I going to put all this stuff? No, but seriously, where's it actually going You don't like it? No, it's just that it's been there a while, so I don't know what it is. Oh, I was actually just saying that this looks so nice. It's again. literally from Aldi. Because the like, big bottle like that is like £1.20. Is it nice? Yeah, yeah actually. It tastes like, you know, it's the little Starbucks one you can get. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought it would taste like. But what, like, I think I went to London and it was there. And because, it, because it's open, it's like going to be bad. Again, so it can't be used. Guys, I just want to know who told me that I could eat all this food. Because I promise you, I'm not finishing it. Yeah, if you tell yourself that before you start, you need to say, I'm going to finish this. Need to get I'm going to, but I feel like I'm going to get sick of it because it's too much pizza. It's going to be like, Tanya, I can do this. I can do this. I feel like I already knew I wasn't well, going to finish that. that. So I've got the leftover in here and I've got the items. Now I'm very tired and I've got the top of the next shot. I can't be bothered. And I need to cook today. You need to start the unit. I'm honestly trying to be one of those people that has their lives together. So I bought a flipping planner, right? It's actually quite cute to be fair. And it's basically so that I can plan what I do each day. But do I follow it? No. Guys, I'm so stressed out. Let me tell you why I'm stressed out. The lecture I'm going to in uni, I told you guys already, you have to learn things before you get to the lecture. But I forgot, I always forget because I'm not used to that style of flipped learning. So then now I have a lecture today, but I've only watched like half of the video. It's not that deep, it just means I have to catch up, but like it's just annoying, isn't it? But then on my timetable, it says I need to do do the pre-work, the pre-session work for tomorrow's lecture, but I need to cook. And it's and I why does uni happen so late at night? Is it she 
my lecture starts at 4 p.m. But because it's like winter now, it actually gets dark. So when I come out my lecture, my lecture, it's actually pitch black outside, five o'clock. And that's when I'm ready to like chill for the day. Like I don't like to revise or do any type of work in the evening. I like, just don't know what I mean. Like it's just not very convenient for my lifestyle. And I'm really tired right now. So I want to drink a coffee so I can stay awake, but I don't have time to drink it. So I would normally put it in my Starbucks cup, but I left my flipping Starbucks cup in the car like a dumb girl. I just needed to let that out. And I don't know why shopping took us so long. We literally finished school at 12 and we got back from shopping at three. Why does it take three hours to go shopping? Why the hell did it take three hours to go shopping? What the hell? Yeah, I'll catch you guys. I'm a tired girl that has just woke up from a nap. Very productive, I shall say. But I need to cook. I think I'm gonna have bol I'm having bolognese this week. Um, and yeah, I feel very stressed out because I don't like university. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I flip the one thing I hate about this kitchen is the flipping oven because it doesn't like work properly. Like, I've got these garlic breads in there at only 180 degrees and it looks like it's normal. Bro, this is rock hard. Like, why does it make it like that? Guys, I have a new system in place. This is how I end my night. Yeah, so first of all, normally we end up chatting in the kitchen for like ages like me and my flatmates we stand up talking to it for ages or i go to one of my other friends flats like downstairs and we end up being there for ages but on the times that we don't do that or when like i come to bed early bro do you know what i love being in a warm bed with my heat on my room's not that hot right now which is really annoying but like i have this new thing where i just love eating ice lollies like this is ice cream though but like, oh why is it broken how dare they do that anyways I don't know whose fault it is. It's my friend's fault, yeah. No, yeah, it's my friend's fault. She, I mean, I went to their flat and then they were like, oh yeah, he wants ice lollies. And I'm thinking like, why are we eating ice lollies when it's literally November and it's freezing cold outside? But I had one anyway. And then now, I just eat ice lollies. Like, this is how I, it's the last thing that I eat before I go to bed. Like, I have dinner and I just need to end the night with an ice lolly. Like, I don't know why I'm going to need to do that. But when I eat in my room, I love it when the room is like warm and then I'm eating ice cream, like yum but right now i'm actually kind of cold because the room i didn't like keep the heater on while i was in the kitchen cooking food like cooking dinner so basically i didn't just turn the heater on so the heat hasn't like gone around the room yet but anyways while i do that i watch locked in normally i watch this show um in the morning like while i'm getting ready but because i'm so like it's so early right now guys like it's literally it's only 8 57 i don't normally go sleep this early so like I need to, like, I'm not, like, I'm tired, but not tired enough to go to sleep, like, bloody hell, so I need something to watch, so I'm gonna watch that, God knows what I'm gonna watch in the morning now, while I get ready, because I'm one of those people that, like, I need to watch something while I'm getting ready, like, I can't start my day and get ready without watching something, like, I just have no, I'll have no motivation to do anything, I'll just stay in bed, but then if I know that, oh yeah, if I get ready, then that means I can watch my show, then it's kind of like an incentive, I'm a really lazy girl, okay, I need, shoot me, I need an incentive to, get out of bed yeah locked in free promo not that they need it anyway but guys be watching foot asylums thingy their show so honestly yeah they have like three seasons i didn't watch season one i didn't watch season two because i tried to watch season two because i saw darkest man was in it and i like him i found him funny like when he's on like the beta squad videos but then i don't know why i think the first episode i watched i don't think he was there yet i don't know he just wasn't part of the cast. I don't know if he, they added him later. I don't know. But yeah, when I first watched the first episode of season two, I think it was, I didn't find it interesting. So I never like finished it. Whereas season three, I'm enjoying this show. Like if you if you watch it as well, then my personal favorite characters or favorite people is Grace and Max is hilarious, but Grace and I like Destiny. Yeah, Max is hilarious, but I feel like if I was friends with him, he would actually have my feelings and I would actually cry. But to watch him, it's funny. Yeah. So that's how I'm ending my night, guys. I've got a 10 a.m. lecture tomorrow, so I've got to wake up at like 8 a.m. So I'll catch you guys at 8 a.m. The next day. Guys, when I tell you, it's such a gloomy day in Berms today. Like, it's literally pouring down the rain outside. I'm trying to figure out what to wear, and I was going to wear cargo pants. But then all my basically my, I just I done washing this weekend, so all my cargo pants are like 
creased up and bro that this is not the time because i'm actually so like like i'm not enjoying uni so every little thing is getting on nerves. so i'm thinking yeah i'm gonna wear cargoes put them on and they're bare creased up and i ain't got time to iron it because i don't have my own iron i use the iron that comes with my accommodation so the iron's all the way in the kitchen and i ain't got time to go all the way to the kitchen and then also like actually take the time to iron it because it's proper creased up because he's been in the washer and the dryer so now i'm having to wear joggers again it's 11 past nine um and i need to leave at like 9 45 but today i actually need to have din dinner breakfast because i'm actually starving my belly's actually rumbling already so i'm gonna have cereal and make sure i have time for it i'm still watching locked in because i didn't even finish the episode that i watched last night because i couldn't even stay awake long enough to finish it it's like an hour long so i'm finishing that now while i get ready also my head scarf keeps on coming off during the night so when i wake up my hair is like so messy and it's really getting my nerves guys when I, like all i'm gonna say yeah is a lot of things are annoying me not even annoying me a lot of things are making me upset i'm actually very stressed out i don't think i like university i just need a break like my happiest is when i'm asleep because when i'm asleep i don't have to think about anything my brain like i just don't think our brains should be able to have this many thoughts at once like if you actually dpm if our brains weren't able to hold this like so many thoughts at once we would actually be less stressed out because the only reason why i'm stressed out is because i'm thinking about so many different things that i'm stressed out about but if my brain wasn't able to do that then i wouldn't be as stressed so like he decided to make the brain like this <laughs> but yeah like um there's so many things on my mind so many things that are stressing me out i don't want to cry but we're not gonna cry. I'm gonna get ready to go to school. Fun. Okay, I don't actually have time to even have a whole cereal, which is so annoying. But thankfully, after this lecture, I'm coming back home and I have no school for the rest of the day, so like I can eat when I get back. But I'm using my coffee machine to make hot chocolate. And what I'm making a mocha, so I basically like put a hot chocolate pod in, and then I also have like these latte pods or mach macchiato pods, I have both and you're basically meant to use this with like a milk pod but instead I just put the espresso of this and the hot chocolate together to make a cheeky mocha put it in there like this and yeah yum it literally looks like night time but it's literally about 9am it's really not helping my mood that it's raining outside but we need um, I'm not going to have to bring an umbrella as well because I'm not trying to get wet a few moments later um yeah i can't lie i didn't go i bro guys i please my eyes we stepped outside the rain is raining i knew it was raining yeah but it's windy my umbrella broke my coffee cup that i had drenched in rain the, the wind was blowing me i couldn't even walk blowing all in my face no there was no way i can't lie i turned around and i went back home this this module that I'm doing, the guy, you know how I told you so I don't do the work before the lecture. Even if you don't do the work before the lecture, he goes over that same work in the lecture again. So it's like, even if I don't go to the lecture, it's not going to make a difference because the content that he's going to go through in the lecture is online anyway and I could do it in my own time. So I'm thinking I'm not going to go through all this treacherous weather just for something that's actually pointless. This is the reality of university. So now I'm going to, what time is it? I woke up early for no reason, but at least now I can be productive and I can get things done today. I'm gonna drink my coffee and then start studying and do my work and stuff. I need help. Have you seen that thing that my mum can do where she's like, like that? Yeah, she pulls it. Yeah, she's like. Mm. I could not do that. <laughs> do you know what I think I need? I think I need like a, a, a relaxa something relaxation, like a massage or like a, yeah, like a deep body massage. To be honest, my shoulders are very tense. I think I need like, you know it actually low-key hurts when they take the knots? Have you had your knots taken up before? I really want a massage with that. I want to have one by that my mum. Bro, when you get, I've only had a professional one once and they literally, it's so, it, it actually low-key hurts. Oh, I don't know if it's supposed to, she was doing it wrong, I don't know. But like, she, like, she gets the knot out so it comes to the surface mm -hmm. and then she pushes it out of you like, it's so weird like you can literally feel and she go like this and then a knot will be created mm -hmm. and then she push it up and relieve it out through your shoulders i want a massage i'm gonna google it i think i if that's what you need i think is what i need and you're best. going to come with me oh no i know i'm coming <sighs> i am stressed out man world population reaches 8 billion how do they know that <laughs> do you know, I, I, 
accuracies because you know how many bugs are not like recorded and you know like in countries like china oh my gosh you know how inaccurate the china population is going to be because they say that people are only having two kids but people like what happened to monday are having bare kids and they're just hiding them we need to watch Black Panther. Should we watch it today? We need to watch the first one, yeah. I was going to suggest that to make you feel better. But I don't know if that would because it's a sad film, I think. It's a sad film. Black Panther? Yeah. No, I love Marvel. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was part of the Marvel then. Jessica, Black Panther. He's literally one of the Marvel superheroes. He's a superhero. <laughs> what did he think he was? Oh, Just there for fashion. Like his film. Like it wasn't a part of the superhero thing. No, yes, but that's why in Avengers, Black Panther was there. You know, like, I mean, oh my God, have you seen Endgame? Yeah, no, the only Marvel film I've watched is the one that I've watched in cinemas with you guys. Yeah. Spider-Man? Oh yeah, she's not like a Marvel. Like, you don't... Like Marvel. No, it is. Oh. But like, you don't know Marvel stuff. No. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm not like a hardcore Marvel fan, but I guarantee you I've seen all the movies though. Did you watch the old school Spider-Man? As in the original Spider-Man movies that came out in like 2000. Did you even get bit by a spider? I don't have a bloody thing. Jessica! No, I can't believe this. Have you seen the Marvel movies? Any Marvel movies? I've seen some. Have you seen Spider-Man? Yeah, and maybe some. I haven't seen the newest ones though. You saw the old ones? Yeah. Thank you. Common knowledge. Everyone's seen the original Spider-Man movies. Guys, I'm there. I'm more just the Netflix. No, but movie. Netflix, was Netflix even there back then? I'm talking about your childhood when you I used to watch movies. I, like, I watched like, the first time after my brother. I feel it's because I grew up with boys. I don't know. Um, Bro, guys, I'm actually good. I'm so excited. Do we go in the night or the day? Look how it looks. Wait, let me show you them. Guys, look how this looks in the night time. Guys, how the fuck are you guys affording this? Affording it? Affording it. Bro, you know for my mental health, I'll do anything. I'll pay any price. <laughs> within a, within reason, as long as I don't go broke in it. I'm trying to contemplate if I want to pay forty nine pound for my massage, but it's a twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes is short. That's eighty four pounds. <laughs> I'm holding these faces. I literally drop like three hundred pound on clothes. That's what I'm saying. Like when it comes to shoes and that, I spend a whole five hundred pound mm. on them trainers, but then I'm struggling to pay eighty four pounds for my mental health. I think I should pay that even for it like that. Honestly guys, I could actually beat everybody and their mum up because I'm so annoyed. Imagine, yeah, with psychology, I, don't, I think it's for, I don't know if it's just for Birmingham students, whatever, but as a psychology student, it's mandatory that you take part in other, psych, like, other people's studies as part of your module, like a part of your degree. Like if you don't participate in their studies, you don't pass, which is even dumb anyway, because why must I participate in people's experiments? Any news, so, you have to, in order to, when you participate in a study, you get credits in it, and you have to make a certain amount of credits for, like, I have to get 18 credits in a year in order to pass that module or whatever. So they, they advise that in the first semester, you try to get nine, so then the second semester, you get nine as well. So I've been signing up to bear studies, da 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 da. And also, if you don't turn up to a study and you don't tell them in advance, like, soon enough in advance, you get a penalty. Please don't worry, I'm going on my thing because I'm trying to get my massage. I'm going on there to see if I have any studies coming up so I know what time to book my massage for. And then I find out, oh shoot, I had a study today that I forgot about because obviously I'm a bit stressed out, guys. Okay, I'm a bit all over the place and I thought I set a reminder I didn't go off so I had a study today that I missed bro they, they gave me a two credit penalty so they deducted two credits from my overall score for, for not missing it fair enough that's my own fault but like two credits that was a bit of a drag because the study itself would have only given me one credit so they, they, the penalty is bigger than what I would have gained if I'd done the study anyway which is so dumb anyways then I see that it says my overall score is minus 2.25 credits and I'm like how the hell am I on a minus if they only deducted two I was on more than zero so like do you know what I mean like if you sort of can do the maths in it like I basically shouldn't be on a minus I should be on like zero or something so then I scroll down and I see that there's a study that I did the other day bro guys this study was 90 minutes of my life it was the most boringest thing I've ever done in my entire life I was so bored I was falling asleep I was tired so I couldn't engage in the study so on some parts of the questions like I was just guessing like, I wasn't really thinking too tough because the study like guys when I tell you it was so boring words can't even explain that it was for 90 minutes 
I said, cool. I see that study that I attended, I see on there, oh, failure to show, free credits deducted, saying that I didn't go to the study. I'm thinking, what do you mean I didn't go? I literally sat there for 90 minutes doing the study and then you're deducting three whole credits from me. Bearing in mind, the study only gives you 1.5 credits. So if the study was only gonna give me 1.5 credits, why are you deducting three credits from me not showing? So anyways, check my email. They got written a whole massive email to me saying that, oh, we decided after um, careful deliberation, we decided that you didn't participate in the study properly. You missed out 68 of the questions and normally people only miss out about five. Can't lie, I don't remember missing out 68 questions. That's a bit of a drag. Like, fair enough, I might have fell asleep in, in some parts. <laughs> I might have fell asleep on some parts because it was boring, but 68 questions, I don't think I would have missed 68. That seems a bit of a drag. But even still, who told you to make your experiment so flipping boring? Like, it was, and the thing is, I wasn't the only person that done it. My friend done it as well and she found it boring. So it's not just me, like, it was just a boring, flipping study so now I've had five credits deducted and now I'm on minus and I need to I need to make up nine by semester one because I'm on minus two and I need to have nine by January and we're in November no I'm actually so annoyed see look at this guys episodic memory if I take part in this study I only get 0 0.5 credits and I'm on flipping let me show you guys I'm literally on minus 2.25 and I need credit requirement. I need 18. Like, bro. Jess. On a ganting. On a ganting. I think we need to do something just quickly to get off your mind. It's even raining outside. So that's what's the night. Do you want to go somewhere and watch your kind of forever? Yeah, actually. Yeah, we'll go. Swedish massage, back, neck, and shoulders. Oh. Guys, this is going to solve all my life problems. I can't lie guys, let me just tell you something, yeah, if you are a fellow student and you're wishing to do psychology at the University of Birmingham, I just wanted to let you know that um, on 15th of November, November as in like two months, less than two months into my degree, I'm being required to write a whole report, to conduct two interviews, do all this nonsense by December. And I don't know, I don't really understand what makes them think that I'm equipped to be able to do that. I also have um, exam season happening in January, whereby I have to write thousand word essays, do all of these exams. I just don't understand what makes them think I'm able to do all of this. I, I'm really stressed out. Right, I literally left my room in a complete mess and it's time it up. But basically, we're about to go down to the study room. Yeah, because I feel like I'll focus more in there. Basically, yeah, my friends, they told me about this app called Flora. You sort of probably heard of it. But basically, it's like this app where you go on it, yeah, and then, like, you plant trees. <laughs> How do I say it? Like, basically, you plant trees for each revision session you do. So say you want to do, like, a 25-minute revision session, yeah, you'll plant a tree. And then if you go on your phone during that 25 minutes, then the tree dies. And, like, why would you want to kill a tree kind of thing? And then, like, you, have, you add all your friends on there. Right, let me show you. Like I'll have all my, I have all my friends on there, yeah. Well, not all my friends, some of my friends, and then like I can see how much revision they've done this week. So it kind of becomes like a competition because they'll be like, "Oh, you've only done this amount of hours. I've done this amount." <laughs> like da da da. You can do group revision sessions. Say I start um, a session for an hour, so one of my friends could join my hour session, and we both have to study for an hour without touching our phones. So it's a good. It's a good thing, you know, because there's been times where like, I was studying and then like I get distracted on my phone. Whereas this is like, if you want to go on your phone, you'll kill your tree. And I don't know why I care about the tree, but it just makes me feel like, why would I want to kill my tree? So then I don't go on my phone. So then I actually revise for that 25 minutes kind of thing. So it's a good app if you need a study app. This isn't promotion. I'm not sponsored. I'm just saying it's out of my heart. Out of my heart, you know, genuine. I feel like this entire vlog, all I've done is just mine. It's a stressful time, guys. Uni's not easy, I'll be real. No, but guys, I'm literally an emotional wreck. Like, literally, this morning, as soon as I opened my eyes, I was already upset. And then, as I was getting ready, I flipping broke a hanger and I could have literally cried. Like, I was, you know, when, you know when you're already having a bad day and then just dumb things happen? It's just like, everything's just adding to my stress. Oh, yeah, guys, another thing that's been stressing me out. Like, the thing is, yeah, you might be think I'm overreacting, but there's so many things I'm stressed out about that I haven't even explained. Like, it's not just one thing that's stressing me out. Like, there's a lot of things that are stressing me out. That's why I'm so stressed. But another thing that's actually stressing me out is, like, basically, if you go uni, you would know, in your first year, like, your accommodation is only for one year in it. So then you need to start looking for, like, in around November, December times, it's like, letting season where like people start looking for houses start deciding who you want to live with second year i mean you don't have to live in a house but it was just my like 
planned that oh yeah first year i'll live in accommodation second year i'll live in a house with all my friends but then like we didn't think this through because i have all my friends are in birmingham but like 90 percent of them but we all didn't go to the same uni like some of them went uob with me but some of them were in aston or whatever so we can't all live together because obviously aston is in the city center whereas uob is like on the outskirts so we wouldn't be able to live in the same house so then now like it's been stressed like trying to figure out like who we're gonna live with, um, finding the right amount of flatmates because most of these houses are like five, six bed houses um, and those are the cheaper ones and those are the nicer ones so you have to actually find six people that you wanna live with and it's just all stress stressful and like people around me are already finding their houses and it's just, like adding to the stress because you're seeing like other people are doing it and then you're still at stage one of trying to figure out who you're living with, trying to view houses. I'm supposed to be viewing houses this week but even that is like, it's just difficult trying to organise it like with other people, like trying to organise it within people's schedules, like, oh, when are you free? I'm free on this day. Da, da, da. Like, it's just and also and then you also have like a time pressure because obviously like all the good houses are gonna be in high demand. So if you take too long to do your housing, all the good houses are gonna go. So if I don't be quick, all the good houses are gonna be gone. Going to say that now that I've done my work, I actually feel less stressed out. So uh, I'm actually okay right now. For once in how long? Yeah. Jessica, oh. Je look, it's actually in my hand. I know. I thought it was. I was thinking, what did you? I thought you broke it out. Guys, I just broke my tooth gem off my tooth. That has lasted me a whole year, and I broke it all. Do you know how it happens? I literally just, I just pressed it like that and it just came off. <laughs> I just didn't eat it. Guys, can you actually, you can actually see it glistening. I'm so upset. I'm not coming in the blue area. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset. Now it doesn't look like anything's there. Yeah, and surprisingly there's no like, my aunt kept on saying to me, oh, you're gonna, it's gonna leave a, a mark. I don't think there is one, or it's faint. Are good. I don't even know which secret was on. Yeah, no, I was scared that it would leave like a patch of like discoloration, but I don't want to throw it in the bin. I'm really scared. Oh, I'm really upset. And I got it done in London as well, which means I can't replace it until December. Oh no. Nah, guys, I'm actually so upset. My teeth look so plain without a tooth gem. You don't know. If you're confused, basically, I used to have tooth gems. I had a tooth gem here on this tooth, and I still have two on this one. So I had three all together. And then this one just came off, and I didn't even mean to. Like, I just saw my tooth, yeah, and I just picked at it for no reason. Don't ask me why. And the thing just came off. And this has been on my teeth for about, since last year, the se September, and we're in November. So it lasted me an, a year and two months. And then now it came off, so I'm gonna have to get it redone. But the place where I get, re like, get it done at is in London, and I'm not going back to London until school finishes, which is on the 16th or 17th or something. We're on our way to go to the cinema room to watch Black Panther, because if you don't know, Black Panther 2 came out, but I don't remember what happened in Black Panther 1. Cinema! Bro, I've literally got a whole feast here, guys. Got some, oh, got some marble cake, some donut, some sweet, some popcorn, because it's a whole thing. Wakanda. Wakanda forever. <laughs> the continent of Africa. Sister Nakia. Sister Nakia. My prince. <laughs> <laughs> Wakanda forever. The next day. It's a new day up in Birmingham. A uni. Oh, look at my hair. Proper straight. Anyways guys, um, I've got uni again today, but thankfully, oh, I was going to say this is the last time I'm going uni for the rest of the week, but it's actually not, I'm going uni again on Friday, but only for a tutorial. But yeah, I'm literally about to leave because it is 10.40 and school starts at 11, and I'm only there for two hours, which is actually a long time to be honest, but it's basically like a workshop. This is the fit I'm wearing today, I'm doing our grey, oh yeah, I think it's really guys, I've put stuck pictures up on my wall thing, which is really annoying me though, because it doesn't go with like... The colour scheme of my room. My room's very messy right now because I literally just got ready, so ignore that. But um it, it looks nice, but it's just like so colourful, but it's cute though. Like I got all my pictures because I realised I could stick it on with blue tack. So all these pictures are stuck on with blue tack. You know, all my friends, Grand Canaria, first day of uni, freshers week, all of that, mumsy. 
and yeah but i need like four more pictures to fit in here which is going to be like recent pictures that i've taken that i haven't printed out yet i use free prints the app to print out my pictures by the way so it's like the pictures are free and you just pay for delivery so i've i've ordered my next batch which is going to come soon and that's going to fill in that gap but yeah i'm off to school and then for the rest of the day i'm literally going to just study um try to get as much studying as i can in the study room and then yeah it's pretty much of a boring day today i can't lie. i haven't got anything planned special so yeah So guys, I'm back from uni. Um, basically, I decided that, basically I came in my room, I, <laughs> can I even speak? I was in my kitchen, yeah, and I had lunch. And I came in my room and I was thinking, yeah, I'm gonna do my work. But then I randomly decided I wanna do a TikTok cause like, do you know what it is? I really enjoy doing like outfit, like fashion TikToks. Like yeah, I might do my other types of TikToks here and there, but I like doing fashion ones. But the thing is, when I first realized that I liked doing that, I'd done it at home in my mum's room and like I really liked the setup that I, like the angle that I'd discovered in my mum's room. So then now that I'm at uni, it's like now I need to find a whole new like angle in my uni room because I haven't made, I haven't really made much TikTok content in this room yet. And also like the lighting, like trying to figure out a good place that has nice lighting. And also the all good thing is, yeah, about my accommodation, like, I don't like having my blinds up basically because I just feel like the whole world can see me. Whereas in my home, I have the blind, we have the blinds up all the time, so then it's like nice natural daylight. Whereas most of the time when you sort of see me in this room, it's like lighting coming from the ceiling because the blinds are down right now. But yeah, I'm just trying to use my tripod to try to figure out a nice angle. I'm going to try to find a nice angle with the blinds down, but if the lighting is just not doing well, I might have to put the blinds up. To be honest, this light here. I have never actually turn it on. Maybe if I turn on this. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, with that light on, it's actually a bit brighter in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't lie, it's actually significantly brighter. Um, I'm gonna do like a sheen basics haul because like the other week or something, I bought like bare sheen stuff. Like this top included is like Skims dupe. And so like I bought this one. I bought a black one. I've got a white one, and then I've got a black like square neck bodysuit, and um a white basic top as well so basically like all the basics from sheen and i'm gonna order some more but i haven't got around to it i want to get so many different colors i don't know where i want to put the phone so, like, i don't know why i'm deciding to do this now because i was literally i literally came in here to start doing my work and then i got distracted by tiktok but yeah <laughs> i actually stole the tripod from home like this is actually mom's tripod and i stole it because i was like girl i'm taking this to uni have i used it once no so it was probably better off being at home anyway but yeah i got i stole it from home and my mom had to get a new one but the one the thing is the new one that she got is actually better than this one so it's a blessing in disguise but yeah anyways i think this is like the best line i'm gonna get in this room so i think i'm gonna record it here It's so rubbish though. Should I try and film it from higher up? Okay, no, yeah, I think I could film it like this. I'm a smart girl. I got the angles. And y'all can look at the behind the scenes. Okay. Like, I actually, like, I tried to plan, like, how, like, this is actually what I do when I do titles. Like when I know like, okay, I'm doing outfits, I'll listen to the song and I listen like, at what point would I change outfit to go with the music? But I can't lie, when you watch my titles, you're probably thinking like, okay, it doesn't look like anything extravagant. But I tried to, I tried to put some thought behind it, do you know what I mean? So from what I counted, there's five, there's five transitions of clothing that I can do. And, oh guys got pen on my nail i always do dumb things like this look my nails are so gross like right now like don't judge me okay like listen my nail tech residues resides residues resides my nail tech lives in london okay so i can't get my nails done unless i'm in london and i'm not i'm in Birmingham. so so yeah i'll do five tops five beats five transitions let's go i'm just gonna put on this random jumper for the beginning bit you can definitely see the top underneath. I really like this jumper, by the way. I got it random. If you sort of, if you sort of watched my Greece vlog, you would know where I got this jumper from. Real people them know. I got this in Greece. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, tap number one. I think this should be fairly quick to be fair, because I'm not doing like actual outfits. I'm just showing the tops. I am finished, okay, and I can't lie. That actually took quite quick because it's four o'clock and I'm pretty sure I came in here at like three. So it only took an hour. Any, any cheeky an hour. But if you want to see the end result of that TikTok, go follow me on TikTok the heck, Natanya Hines. basically almost done with revision basically like at 6 30 i decided that i'm like actually starving i was gonna wake up from my nap and i was gonna go and get food but i was like you know what there was some things that were on my to-do list to do that i haven't done like i was supposed to one start basically i have to do a literature review for a report that i have to do in it so i was first gonna like find a couple studies to put in my literature review two i was gonna do some revision um for bio um psychobiology because i have an exam for it on tuesday and then three, I was also going to start on the introduction of an essay that I have for psychobiology, which is also due next week, Thursday. So I was supposed to do all three of those, but I only done the literature review part and I hadn't done the revision part. Um, well, I'd only done like half of it. So now I was like, okay, cool. Let me use these next 30 minutes to at least do a bit of active recall for one of the topics for psychology, psychology, biology. Um, so I'm literally doing this on like a starving stomach right now like my stomach is rumbling like, I am so hungry because for lunch yeah I didn't even show you so I put a pizza in the oven with some um, sweet potato fries and I think I'm so lazy I put the sweet potato fries in the oven even though I know I prefer it when it's fried but I couldn't be asked to fry it so I put it in the oven and it just cooks bare weird like the I hate oven chips all my life like literally the ed the ends the tips of it all burnt but then the actual sweet potato fry like I tasted it, it tasted disgusting it tasted raw I didn't know where it was so I threw it in a bin because I literally only had like you know the small pizzas the um Chicago town pizzas and two prawn tempuras which is like not enough for me guys like I, I can eat do you know what I mean so that didn't fill me up for anything so that's why I'm like really hungry right now but um I can hear somebody in the kitchen and all I know is it's not Jessica because I just messaged her. So I don't know who that is in the kitchen. So I'm hoping that in seven minutes time they leave because I don't know. I just find it, I don't know. I just find it awkward going in the kitchen sometimes like when they're already in there and then I come in. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. I can't imagine the people that live with like all 13 flatmates. I was actually, when I was in my workshop today, I was talking to my friend. And she was saying that she has 13 flatmates. I was like... I don't know how people do that. Like, I'm even struggling. I even think five is a lot, to be fair. I have five. But people out here with 13 flatmates, man, that's crazy. Guys, this is about to be five minutes of me embarrassing myself by trying to freestyle. Why are they give me the actual beats of him? I want a little baby type beat. <laughs> yeah, I really. <laughs> <laughs> you are so off. Oh my God. Good job, we relayed it. Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. Wait. <laughs> All these girls in my DM need to stop. They always trying to hit my block. Yeah. I'm tired of these stupid hoes. <laughs> I ain't got no time for no bozo. <laughs> okay, now give me a, give me a Takashi Six Nine type beat. Bozo, are you dumb? Dum 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 stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Mmm. Mmm. Listen. I don't care about I 
that, that my brain can't say, you know I was reading them off the wall. Oh, I need to see that. Like, I don't know, or maybe give me a topic to rap about, I don't know. Yeah, first. What's the next type of rapping? How do people find, um, you find the beats. How do people just know what to say? Like, my brain can't think of words, like, just out of the blue. This is the beat. I don't think it's a real song. Oh, what am I rapping about? Money. Yeah, I get the bill. Don't talk to me. I've got a bill. The bill. Counting on my stacks. That's the tills. the tills. Don't talk to me. I ain't feeling you, girl. Cause I'm Natanya. 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 I got YouTube, girl. TikTok, TikTok, girl. Woo. I'm Natanya. The only Natanya. I'm Mrs. Hines. Mm-hmm. Or Mr. Hines. <laughs> The rapper industry is not for me, in it? Let's give you... No, that beat was kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie. No, but listen, yeah, I could... Notice how I could talk more when you gave me a topic. Yeah. I need a topic. <laughs> it's just a rhyming. Oh, what's that guy's name? My brain can't think. Okay, I think this one you might be good at. Um, rap about, um... Your car. I got my whip yesterday. You do. Whipping and scourging. Whip, 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 whipping down the road. No. I zoom past you. Mm-hmm. Bye bye, BB. Mm-hmm. You ain't looking like me. Like her. You ain't looking like us. Like us. Yeah, I skirt her around in my BW polo. Look at you watching. watching. You've been looking like some bozo. Bozo. Bo 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 bo. Do this, Jess. Do a, let me give a drill type beat for Jess. Drill type beat. Yo, won't give back me if I see my up and shot shoot them. I'ma stab them, I'ma kill them, I'ma loot them. Yo, one thing about me, I don't play when it comes to my money. If you see me, I'll roll to finish. I'm gonna stab you in the back. Listen, mm. my name's JK, you don't play with me, yeah? If I catch you, it's on sight, yeah? <laughs> Listen, I'll push you off your back, yeah? <laughs> Listen, I'ma push you off your back. You think you're number one? Wait, no, that's me. No! Yeah. That's my fault, yeah? Suck your. Uncle Phil is in his room. If I go now and stab him, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Let me try a dual type. No, so I can't lie. Like, I feel like with Jewel, you just have to. She doesn't mean anything she's saying, but by the way, we we're not actually murderers out here. Hello, Natalia on the beat. Listen, when I step in the place, everybody look at me. Because if I look at you, you're shivery, shivery, shivery. What? What? Because I'm about to go in the street, tell them, street, tell them. Everybody see me, they look at me, me, me. You know what I'm about. Don't need to say nothing. You know what I'm about. Don't need to look at you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, when I walk to the place, everybody look at me. You know I'm that girl. Don't you see me? Bow. I come with a bunny. Your face too pretty. Woo. Come get my face mashed up in pet beef. Woo. Don't talk to me. Hello. You don't deserve it. Ooh. My time is worth your whole purchase. Woo. <laughs> your time, my time is on your whole purchase. Place on the block. Mm. Looking all hard. <laughs> Listen, if I come over there. I'll check your mum. <laughs> mm. When I stop up in the place, mm. everybody look at me. Bum. They know I'm that girl, so don't play with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, look at my craps. Mm. Better than your craps. Jordan Falls. Stepping on that. Yeah. The next day. Uh. Right guys, so basically, right now I'm on my way to my massage. It's the next day by the way, but I need to rush because, hold on, let me get out of this parking space without bashing someone else's car in the, in the meantime. Guys, I parked in like a really tight spot, so I literally, and there's like a bin behind me. 
try not to bash the bin while I'm at it. Yeah, I'm basically on my way to my wax, not wax, my, um, am I even going the right way? Yeah, I am. I'm on my way to my massage, but basically I'm actually a dumb girl because I decided that I wanted to sleep in tonight. Like, I woke up like early, I woke up at like 10, but I just stayed in bed doing God knows what, and I didn't deep that. Because of the time of my wax, my wax is at um, one, I would have to leave at like 12.45. Taking my time thinking my wax is like ages away, but it was actually sooner than I realized. So now I might be like a couple minutes late, but I think that's fine. I'm actually quite excited for my wax. Um, I can't say wax, I'm not getting a wax, I'm getting a massage. Because guys, I'm gonna tell you, I've been needing a massage since like summer. Like I remember begging like one of my uncles to give me a massage um, because literally I've been needing one for time. Like, I just feel like my back is so like, naughty and like it just needs the stress needs to be relieved from the from the back and the shoulders and the neck um so yeah i'm excited to get that it's a 45 minute massage and it was like 40 pounds i think which i don't think is that bad but hopefully it's a good massage but the L is a swedish one but i'm actually also a dumb girl because because i woke up so late not woke up so late because i started getting ready so late i didn't have time to like actually eat breakfast so i was gonna quickly go greg's um and get a sausage roll on the way but the queue in greg's was like so long like literally the queue was going outside as in like there was people queuing up outside the shop and i'm thinking there's never that deal like, i'm not gonna line up outside the shop when i'm already running late so now my stomach's gonna be so like my stomach's gonna start rumbling which is so bloody awkward when i'm with the person she massaging me, my stomach's very rumbling like that used to happen when i used to get my eyelashes done and my stomach would be rumbling so embarrassing but yeah that is the plan for today and then I think I'm gonna um, get some revision done and I think me and my friends are gonna be viewing the houses today for second year um, but I just need to sort out the timings because the estate agents called me to say that I could view it today but I just need to confirm with everyone else like what times they're available and that so that I can actually get it um, sorted out. Why is everyone driving so slow? Can everyone just hurry up? I've got places to be. Ugh. Also, I'm not going to be able to vlog, I don't think, inside the massage because I'm pretty sure massage places you can't vlog while you're getting a massage done. <laughs> and also, like, I'm trying to relax in it, I'm not really trying to vlog. But guys, this housing thing is actually so stressful. It's looking like I'm living with seven people, but to find a seven bedroom house that's not bloody taken and that still looks nice and modern is stress. And also, we're doing it, we're not doing it late, but we're not doing it early because we didn't confirm who we was living with until like like yesterday so everyone else all the people that already knew who they were living with had obviously secured like the better houses um so we're just trying to make sure we find one that's good and also not like extortionate prices that has on suite bedrooms and stuff so i'm not trying to share no bathroom with nobody and also like making sure they're still like quite close to uni and stuff um so yeah guys i am currently stressed out because i'm eight minutes late and i'm having to walk some long walk back to where this place is because basically where the clinic is there was no like parking like it said they said that um there's parking with the thing in it but outside of their doorstep there was no parking spaces like everyone else would really park there so i was trying to find nearby roads to park by but i one thing i hate about birmingham is that there's so many like one way one way roads so like say if i'm trying to go back around I, it takes me a long way around because i have to i can only go on like streets that are for one way. Do you know you just don't know what i mean you know how to drive but yeah so i had to keep i had to go round and round and round so now i've had to park like so far down and i'm currently like walking back up to it and they better not cancel my appointment and i think it's yeah stuff like this like here i didn't know if i was allowed to park there or not because like you know how you're not allowed to park when the pavement is lowered it's like the pavement's raised but only for a short amount of time so some of my car would be on the bit of the pavement where it's flat so i was scared that if i parked there i would get a ticket but i can see other people doing it so i'm not really sure and i don't want to risk it so yeah um i'm currently walking back and i'm praying that they don't cancel my appointment because i paid 40 pounds for this and i'm 10 minutes oh almost 15 minutes late so look like this person he i don't know if maybe he knows the people that live here but he's literally blocking their drive um i don't know if that's allowed <laughs> i didn't want to risk it but yeah fingers crossed i get my my massage done <laughs> So guys, I just came up from my massage. I haven't even looked at myself in the mirror. The way, when you put your head down on the thing, like my face is literally like squashed, like my eyelashes and my hair. So I hope my lace is okay. But yeah, I just finished my massage. And I can't lie, it was actually very good. My shoulders though, I could tell that my shoulders were um, finished. Like that my shoulders are actually messed up. Like she even said at the end that there was a lot of like knots in my shoulders. She was asking me like, what do I do? Like, do I sit at a desk a lot? And I was like, yeah, like obviously, 
I'm a student so like I use my computer and she's like yeah your posture and stuff like she recommends getting a massage once every month I don't know if that's a, a tactic to get people to carry on coming or if she genuinely means it but either way I genuinely believe that I actually have like a lot of knots in my shoulders and stuff I've been telling you that I've been needing a massage since like the summer like I've been feeling like I need a massage you know what I mean like I just felt like my shoulders and my back was a bit tense um she even on my arms as well towards the end my stomach started rumbling bears like I was so embarrassed all I know is right now I need to get home and eat some food okay this has got to be the most ghetto parcel I've ever seen in my life guys look at this Basically, mom, I had my mom send me some um, to send me something. Basically, I got sent these um, TikTok skirts, um, but they delivered to my actual house, and obviously, I need them to be here so I can post TikTok with it. And also, I needed her to send me some eyelashes. Like, I mean, I, I wear. Oh yeah, everyone always asks me. Well, not everyone. Few people always ask me in the comments like what eyelashes I wear. Guys, I wear my own. Okay, I wear Lavoir B. Right, let me show you. Link in the description box. Lavoir B T. I wear lashes dream, but I wear like basically. The thing is, I've got two new pairs now that my mom sent me um, because these ones are getting a bit old. But basically, I like use two pairs. And I don't double it, but I like double it in certain sections. So like, I'll have one eyelash here, and then the second pair I cut up into pieces, and then I'll stick those pieces in various different places of the lash that I didn't cut. So then like, it's not doubled, but it's like filler in certain areas. So that like, I'll put a double here, a double maybe in the middle, double on this. Actually, you know what I mean, like, yeah. So like it's doubled in certain areas and not doubled in other areas, basically. But even if I didn't double it, I still love them like I just double it so that I look a bit more a little bit more fancy but the when it's not doubled is like it's a bit more natural so yeah I've got my TikTok skirts oh and I got my I don't know if you sort of seen this like famous TikTok skirt that everyone keeps on getting oh it does look like it'll fit me I was scared it wouldn't fit but it's like a cargo skirt um, that I have to post a TikTok with because the people that make it sent it to me like as a sample so now I'll take, do a TikTok with it. Ugh, this silly woman, she sent me Dream but I told her to send me two and she only sent me one. But yeah, this is how the packaging comes. Lavoir Beauty, is it gonna focus? Lavoir Beauty, little lash brush in style Dream. This is how the skirt looks. It's cute, however, because I'm like a really straight figured person i wish like this bit like came out a bit like it's not tight but it's like a bit too bodycon on the bottom i prefer things to be like a more like looser like if it was like this i'd prefer it but it's a bit more like tighter but it's okay anyway like it's still cute it fits my waist i don't know if i'd want to wear it low right so no <laughs> wear it high-waisted with a little corset it's a bit cold to be wearing something like this to be honest but i'm probably gonna wear it to a party i'm going to on saturday <laughs> <laughs> is there a mirror? Yeah. Okay. Wait, I'll I have to check the shower for she dress. Is it a holy shower? Yeah, it is. Please. I feel like I'm not old enough to be doing that. Why am I being a house? I need my The light is really Just asking. Oh, it smells nice in here. Can I look in the bathroom? Yeah, sure. But this ain't my room, though. This is Tito's room. That's your room. I don't want to be at the front. I am not. I am not bottom floor, I promise you. This room is It's not about me, but that could be Kirsty's because she's not here. Hi, guys. Hi. Not too sure where Jake's gone, is he? He's there. It's a competition upstairs, guys. This is so scary. Oh, yeah, this one. Can you explain the situation with this one? No, the fact it's an eight bed, but you didn't get a license for eight, so we can only rent it to six. Oh. Yeah, what is that? Basically, he built it an eight bed, yeah. mm -hmm. hoping the council would give him planning for eight people, but he never got it. So, it's an eight bed that rents six people, two of the rooms are locked off. Oh. They can't be rented, it'll be breaking the law, you'll get a fine load. Okay. Yikes. But, oh, so we won't go in there either? No. Where are they? Can't be used. It's whatever ones you choose, basically. Oh, oh. oh. so the two downstairs can be locked off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. 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 I don
No. Oh, word. It's got to be my room. Yeah, I can't. I was going to say dress. Oh, no, this is like too, too, too small for me. Oh. I'm a tall babe. Can I see the wardrobe? Oh, is that a bathroom? This, this, is, so this is brilliant. I want to move here now. Are you taking good recordings? Yeah. Look at your phone. Oh, sorry, I forgot. She's been recording. Oh, I'm even off. I'm sorry. Mine. Mm. Yours. I don't I, know. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm just saying it in advance. I like in case three. I like it. Number three is me. Okay, this is mine. Number three is me. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, no, you I can have it. I'm going to like this. <laughs> in it? Why is it in it? This is the right. This is the headboard. Okay, I think all the bathrooms are doing skillet. Is there another upstairs? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three, oh, can we go up? Yeah, go ahead. I think I'll be upstairs, upstairs. This is brilliant. I never I said the bottom two could be locked off. Lovely. Ah! Magic fairy lights off the iPad. No, this one's man. No, guys, 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 guys. You know what? You know what? Yeah, we're not picking rooms in that way. I'm gonna discuss to you our picking rooms. We're not picking rooms in that way. We're not picking rooms by dibs. Dibs care. Who looked for these places? Who spoke at the front of the the estate agents? None of you. Me. First of all, you're not even saying anything. Me. I organize everything. Then you get the choice of rooms. Okay, fine. Okay, you know what? I agree with that. You're just absolutely jacky. You can't have no pick. I promise you, mine is number three. No, we need to go and play holding people. But we need to look at the other one. I want to see that. This is the cheaper one. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. It's the 132. Wait, what's this one? Oh, yeah, I said we're going to pay the holding fee. No, I need to look at other houses. That's too, that's too risky. You think it's risky? Yeah. The other one is way more expensive. This one is really nice. Let me look at the rooms there. You like this one? <laughs> I like it. But I think this one's the room where the rooms are, a lot of the rooms are downstairs. Oh, which doesn't really matter. No, I feel like if it looks like this, I'll feel like... I mean, if we're all downstairs, then I don't yeah. mind. Oh, this is... <coughs> okay, maybe I won't mind downstairs. As long as the kitchen looks like that, I don't mind downstairs. As long as I'm downstairs with someone nice. 90 a month. What's 90 a month? Energy. Energy. So what's that per week? 90 a month each. Each? You know I can do that. So what's that divided by four? Guys, you know it's more than 20 pounds. 22? Damn. Yikes. Oh, damn. Maybe they have really long showers, keep the lights. No, but, no, but that's, that's the, that's the, the thing. But that's the thingy, and then they said... They're on the package. Huh? They're on the package. I'm not sure, but he said because um, of the cost of living crisis. Yeah. This room is really good. Which is we'll about seventy five a week. So that's as high as it can. Right, guys. So basically, my my I can't vlog on my camera yet because the SD cards just ran out. So I need to dump some stuff. But basically, I just got back and we literally secured the house. That like we paid the holding fee and we paid the deposit in TV. That is it's all so real. Basically, I didn't even vlog any of it. But basically, when we go back to the estate agency. We were stuck between the two houses that you saw me view. Um, and the the group was split. There's six of us. Some people wanted to um, live on one of the houses, the other ones go in the other house. I was firm on the second house we viewed. Like, I was I was in love with that house, but some people wanted to go to the first one. We were debating, debating, debating. It was so stressful. We were in there for about, like, literally, it's eight o'clock now. We only just got back and we got there at 4 p.m. So it's been four hours, the whole process took. Um, but yeah, we finally got a house. I'm actually so scared because I feel like I'm not old enough to be doing this. Like, I didn't even call my mum the whole time. Like, we literally all done it with our own brains. So I'm scared that I've missed anything out. But we have a, I have a copy of the contract and everything. And the prices. Um, and what, like, do you know what I mean? Like, how it's going to be. Um, yeah, hopefully I haven't missed anything out. And yeah, got my second year house. This, the house is beautiful, by the way, guys. Like, uh, the room that I found that is mine. I can't wait to create content there. Like, it's such a nice room. So yeah. I think it's sorted, but I'm scared. I'm scared. I feel like I'm not old enough to do this. I'm not old enough to be signing contracts. Do you know what I mean? The next day. My peoples, I am so sorry. <laughs> I haven't vlogged all day, I can't lie. Like, do you know the time? Do you know what time it is? Oh, it's actually, oh my God, oh my God. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, I missed it. It was 18, 18. Anyways, it is 20 past eight. I mean, 20 past six. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. It's 20 past six. Okay. And yeah, this is my first time picking up the camera all day. But in all fairness, I actually haven't been doing it for all day. I've actually been trying to be on productive mode. What did I do? I woke up, I've done some studying, not enough studying. D did I mention that I have an exam on Tuesday? I don't know if I mentioned that. But yeah, I have an exam for one of my modules on Tuesday, which I'm very scared for. But thankfully, it's open book. Like, I literally get to do it in the comfort of my own home at this desk right here. And we get 40 minutes to do like and multiple choice questions 20 multiple choice questions so that like, i can literally just find the answer in my notes but obviously i'm not gonna rely on my notes i'm gonna try to actually do it from memory and obviously because there's a time constraint there's only so much you can be like flicking back and forth through your notes like it's better if you just, just know the answer um so yeah i got that which i'm a bit scared for because like my first like exam not formal exam but it's my first exam do you know what I mean um so yeah and then on Wednesday no Thursday there's an SAG not a full essay but like 
half a SAG that I need to do and all this so like there's a lot of work coming up and there's this like report that I have to do that I'm behind on because I don't understand what I'm doing I have to conduct a study and I have to conduct interviews that like, there's a lot going on with uni right now yeah and uni life is not for the week I'll tell you that for free but yeah that's what I've been doing today and then I just go spec savers because I basically run out of contact lenses so I was trying to go there to buy a spare box and then they didn't even they told me I have to wait five to seven days for it to deliver and I thought I thought I I could just pick it up but they didn't have my prescription in stock and I was just like girl so they literally only gave me like two pairs and I've ran out like literally after tomorrow I'll be done so those my contact lenses are basically gonna finish like I'll have no contact lenses I'll have to be a glasses babe which is very annoying and it's this weird thing yeah I noticed it's so weird if you um if you wear contact lenses and new experiences please let me know because I don't understand so the lighting's atrocious right away right now ignore that but yeah basically i've noticed that when i wear eyelashes when i glue eyelashes on without contact lenses so let's like say i'm trying to just do a glasses day yeah and then i glue the the contact the can i even speak when i glue the lashes onto my eyes without contact lenses yeah for some reason it irritates my eye like my eye starts feeling weird like not straight away it's like as the day goes on and i thought i was just bugging but the other day i deeped it like my eye literally went red like there was a red patch on my eye because of the, la the lash irritating my eye and i feel like it is the duo glue not the actual lash obviously because it happens regardless of what lash i wear but then the one thing that stays consistent is the glue but then the thing is when i wear contact lenses that never happens like right now i'm wearing contact lenses and my eyes feel absolutely fine and it only happens if I wear it without contacts. So I don't know if like the contact lenses act as a barrier between my natural eye and the lash glue. But it's just the thing where when it's my naked eye without a contact lens to protect it, it really like irritates me. So that's why it's a bit inconvenient to wear glasses. Like it's not even just because oh I don't want to wear glasses because I want to wear contacts. It's actually because if I wear glasses and then I decide I want to wear lashes, which I will always decide because I always wear lashes. It's just that like my eyes are going to irritate me. Comment down below if you know the reason why. Like, am I allergic to an ingredient in it or what? I don't understand. But yeah, anyways, um, for the rest of the day, I'm doing absolutely nothing. I do some editing of this vlog um, because today's Friday and I'm trying to get this vlog out for Sunday. I don't know if I'll be able to. But actually, I think I will. I think I will be able to because I think I'm going to stop vlogging tomorrow. Because tomorrow, all that's happening is I'm going to my friend's birthday party or like house party whatever but i don't know if i'm even gonna vlog there because i don't even like being a youtuber in those kind of settings because it's just too much attention i'd rather just pretend like i'm a normal civilian so i don't know if i vlog if i do vlog it 100 percent won't be on this camera it will be on my phone so we'll see if i vlog right now um i just put lasagna in the oven to have dinner but it's a bit sticky because i'm meant to go watch wakanda forever black panther 2 and we're meant to leave at like i'm meant to leave at 6 45 and it's 6.23 but I only just put lasagna in the oven and the lasagna takes 25 minutes to cook and then I need 10 minutes to eat it. So I don't know who the hell told me to put lasagna in the oven instead of me to just get McDonald's on the way. But yeah, um, we're gonna go watch Black Panther, which I'm really excited about because now that I've, now that you saw that I watched the first one again, by the way, I'd already seen it, I watched it again. My memory of like what happened before is like proper refresh. So like, is, I don't know, I prefer to watch to re-watch movies before I watch the next one. Like, even Spider-Man, yeah? When Spider-Man um, No Way Home came out, I re-watched every single Spider-Man. And when I say every single Spider-Man, I mean from the beginning, okay? From the beginning, from literally when, um, what's his face? What's that actor's name? What's Spider-Man's name? Peter Parker. When Tobey Maguire his name toby Maguire, the og spider-man back when spider-man was like proper spider-man in it i re-watched all of those movies i watched all the ones with andrew garfield that was my favorite spider-man by the way and then i watched all of tom holland's one before i watched no way home just so that i can have it fresh in my mind and i went oh and i done some tiktoks today i've done about three or four tiktoks that is a productive day if you ask me i realized that in the footage i didn't even show you a lot the houses that we were viewing we only viewed two but i didn't show you like what the house looked like i was kind of just vlogging like this the whole time like a star videography natanya but um all you've got to know is that the house that we did choose is absolutely immaculate beautiful it was so stressful because like i said we were talking between two houses and i was an advocate for the house that we chose and i'm so happy that we got that house because that's the house that i wanted but yeah in second year Damn, I'm not gonna see the house again until next year. That's so crazy. But yeah, you're not gonna have to wait until second year's house tour. 
before you can see the proper house. In fact, that's, that makes me happy that I didn't show you guys because now you've got, you've got to have some anticipation. You've got to wait until the next year, September, which means you've got to stay subscribed. You've got to stay supporting me. <laughs> oh, guys, I, I finished watching Locked In today. And if you don't watch, well, if you watch Locked In, Basically, if you don't want to hear a spoiler, like just stop, just stop listening right now, okay? Just skip ahead, okay? But yeah, I just watched the finale, and how do I feel? Thing is, yeah, I wouldn't. My favorite character was always Grace in it, but in terms of who should win, when I when I be realistic, I was thinking she probably shouldn't win because it's like we all know that you're the best you're the best character like in the house. We all know you're that girl, but like, do you need to win ten thousand pounds? not really so i was thinking hmm i kind of actually want max to win because max yeah he really grew on me like at first i've always found him funny but like you know how he's rude i felt like it's a bit too much like i felt like oh uh, if i was friends with him in that house if he if he spoke to me though he spoke to rachel i would literally cry every day every every night i would cry like, if he tried to tell me that i look needy without lashes or needy without makeup whatever i would be so upset but anyways and after a while I started to understand his humour and like his banter and stuff like that and I actually started to like him a lot. So I was thinking that I wanted Max to win. I can't lie, I was not expecting Chip to win. Like I was not expecting that. Like, yeah cool, Chip was a good guy, like he was a cool guy, like, I liked him as well. But I didn't think, first of all I didn't realise he had that much support from the public. I thought the public, I know the public's like Grace, Max a little bit. I know Max would probably have his haters but I just didn't think Chip would get that much support to be honest. But he's a calm guy. And it's so cute how he split the money with Billy and Max, because even Billy, I like him too. But I just didn't expect him to win. I did not expect it. But if, really and truly, if it was going to be up to the public vote, then Grace would have won. One, it's only because Chip done better in the challenges. Remember my friend asked me, oh, would you ever go and lock in, Nathaniel? Listen, yeah, I don't know about that one. First of all, I'm not even big enough to even be going on locked in. Big, big foot asylum. You know they got people with millions of subscribers on there. I'm not, I'm not at that level. But one day, in Jesus' name, when I am, what I got unlocked in? In terms of being without my phone, I can't lie, I think I could actually do it. I think I could actually go 14 days without my phone. Because now that I think about it, I don't actually go on my phone that much. Like, if I'm bored, yeah, but if I have people to socialise with, I'd rather talk to people than be on my phone. Like, when, for example, when I'm in, in my group of friends, I'm hardly on my phone. I'm more, like, engaged in the conversations that I'm with. So I feel like if I'm, a ha if I'm in a house for the people, I wouldn't really miss my phone like that. Like, I would, but, like, I think I could do it, like, 14 days. Like, I think that's hard. Um, but I just feel like it's scary in terms of, like, what people be saying about you. And, like, you don't know that my channel, I feel like my channel is really, like, hater-free. Like, I don't really get haters like that. My channel is more, like, just supporters. And I want it to stay that way. I don't want to now go on a bigger platform. And then now, all of a sudden, all these people that are not normally subscribed to me and that don't normally watch me decide that, actually, I don't like Natanya Hines and she's she's annoying and she's this and she's that. And they start pinpointing things about my personality that I never knew about. And then I get insecure and all that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's a bit... You have to have, like, a strong, strong, strong sense of like you have to be confident and secure in yourself to go on a show like that so that when you do go on a show if people hate on you it doesn't affect you as much whereas me I don't know if I have that that mindset I don't know but it'll be fun though like and who doesn't want to win 10k like the hell <laughs> but yeah it's 6 30 now I'm gonna go check on my lasagna to see if it's even alive and it's not burnt and I'm gonna start getting ready to leave as well honestly guys i don't understand why this place is so packed like there's actually bare people here but anyway so at the cinema place i don't mind the lighting so bad but yeah i thought i wasn't gonna find parking but we did and the movie started 10 minutes ago but i know there's gonna be like adverts in that but all i know is i need my tanga ice blast and i'll be good so guys i just got back from oh Oh, I just realised something. Oh, I just realised I'm supposed to take off my wig today. Tonight. Guys, I was actually about to tell you about how tired I am right now. But I just realised I'm pl I am plan to take off my wig today. And when I take off my wig, I, like, like, I have to wash it. Which means I have to wash my wig right now. And I cannot be bothered. I was actually thinking I'm going to come into my room and go straight to sleep. Oh, I'm gonna give it this the quickest wash ever. Or can I even be bothered to wash it? I think I should wash it. I should wash it. Cause I got oil in it. Remember I told you guys, the... did I even tell you guys? 
basically after my massage the massage i had yesterday um i realized that because of the woman was putting oil on my back so because my hair was down it was to the side but my hair was down somehow the oils got into my hair so my hair looked like really greasy and oily but then because the wig was on my head when i got home i had to literally like dip my head into the sink and wash the wig with soap and water like, i literally wash it while it's on my head and then dry it and then blow dry it and straighten it again so um i was gonna say that because it's been oily it actually needs a proper wash like removed from my hair because obviously the back of my hair might still be oily because i wasn't able to wash the back of it just got back from watching wakanda forever black panther 2 in the cinema the cinema was packed out the whole bro i wish i could show you stuff like literally i expect i speculated that there might be a queue because when i when i booked the tickets online i could see that the room that it, the screening was happening in was with a massive room with a lot of seats and literally like so many seats were taken like it was literally almost sold out so i was thinking there's gonna be a lot of people in the cinema hall so i was thinking even though we bought our tickets online the queue to like line up and get your tickets and the queue to like get my tango ice blast would be long but then when i got there i wasn't even expecting it to be that packed like even the car park of the of the um like of the what you call it retail park whatever was so packed like so many cars and then when i got to the cinema literally the queue was literally wrapping around itself like wrapping round and round and that cinema one thing i hate about it is literally the cinema is huge and there's so many tills but for some reason they literally close half of the tills so like literally half of the room of tills like there's just no workers and then there's only like three workers working on one side of the room so that's why the queue so long whereas if they actually had all the tills on and all the workers on board then the queue wouldn't be that long um so yeah, I didn't get a tank of ice bar, so I just sat there with no beverage at all. So anyways, um, the movie was really good though, like, it was completely different to the first one though, like, a whole different vibe. Yeah, I started to clock that I was tired in the cinema, but guys, literally, whenever I realised, whenever I set foot behind that wheel, adrenaline kicks in because there's been times like yesterday my friend's birthday we went we drove to um her accommodation and while i was in the room i was tired but then as soon as i got into the car to drive us home and i sat behind the wheel i was awake again because like god forbid like one of my worst fears is like being tired behind the wheel like because me when i'm tired i have the type of tiredness where like sleep is uncontrollable like i get that that type of tiredness in lectures where like i can't even help it if i fall asleep and i'm always scared that I would fall asleep behind the wheel so then i think every time i get into the car like my brain's just like Nathaniel, wake up so adrenaline kicks in and i'm not tired so now i wasn't tired just now but then as soon as i got inside tiredness kicked in i'm even hungry right now i could literally eat a whole meal but i'm so tired that i can't even be i don't even have the energy to look for what to eat cook it make it whatever and even eat it like i'm just ready for my bed but i do need to take my wig off and regular it because or do i no idea. Wait, do I? Do I? No idea. Do I really need to take off this wig and re-glue it? Or could I wait until Sunday? No. Basically, there's a party tomorrow. So I'm really anticipating that I could get home late. So if I'm going to get home late tomorrow night, there's no way I'm going to come home and be like, yeah, let me take off my wig and wash it i won't be i won't be bothered whereas today even though i am tired i'm more bothered to do it i'm more able to do it now than i would be tomorrow night so that means that i should take off now yeah no i'm gonna take off my wig let me just stop being lazy but i'm realizing the more i keep on saying i have an exam the more i need to realize that it's actually not that deep this exam that i'm doing is literally open book and i'm not, I'm not saying that's an excuse What the heck is that? Guys. What is that? That spot? Uh, what is that? Are you still seeing this? What is that? And all down my arm. Am I having an allergic reaction? Bumps like this appear when I'm having a serious allergic reaction where like I've actually eaten peanuts and that's when like I get bumps on my actual skin. But I didn't eat a peanut. And this wasn't here before I left. Is it the marble cake I've been eating? The next day. So guys, basically, I am getting ready. Well, I'm ready now. I'm basically going out to my friend's birthday party. Who's coming? I don't like vlogging when people can hear me. Yeah, anyways. So basically, it's my friend's party. And this is the outfit, guys. Let me show you. I reloaded this top. I've worn it before, but like, who's actually going to check me? Just this top. 
skirt and these trainers which came out of hibernation they've been living under my bed in my accommodation because i hardly ever wear them so i thought let me wear them for a change and it kind of goes with the outfit so yeah but guys i'm so gassed basically i don't know if i've told you this before but in birmingham there's a shop a grocery sh an afro-caribbean grocery shop that sells bag juice and if you're a fellow jamaican you know what bag juice is if not it's basically like a beverage in jamaica like it's actually a bag with juice in it but like i like to freeze it and it basically becomes like a slushy in a bag kind of thing <laughs> but it's basically bag juice as a jamaican but i've never ever seen it being sold in england like my grandma's made it for me before because she just put any drink inside a bag and it's bag juice but like bro they sell it in the shop and it's nice basically we discovered it like in the first few weeks of six of um school but then all of a sudden they stopped selling it like they were out of stock and we kept every time we went there they'll be like oh no we don't have any because basically because it's winter they don't stock it up as much because obviously it's, it's like a it's like ice studies like you're not going to buy as many ice studies for the store in the winter because not many people would buy it but we were like no order it in we'll buy it we'll buy it so every week we'd go and they'll be like oh no we don't have it we don't have it today i went to go check because my plan was for today for the pre-drinks i don't want to like i'm tired of vodka lemonade and all this stuff i want to basically make have bag juice but put alcohol in it so it's like an alcoholic bag juice because that would slap like especially when it's like icy like it's basically like a slushy but with alcohol in it so i was thinking yeah that would bang so i went there and guys i couldn't believe my eyes they actually had bag juice bro you know if it was in a box normally it's in a box yeah i was planning to take the whole box but they took it out of the box so i could only take as much as i could carry so i literally bought like 20 i even insert a picture here of how many i got just to stock up and in, in two days time when i go for our weekly shop i'm gonna buy more again before they try to tell me that it's out of stock for another two weeks i'm gonna stock up on it <laughs> but yeah so i'm about to go free drink casual i'm not really a house party type of girl to be honest i don't really like house parties i prefer to go to the club but at the same time i'm not in the mood to go clubbing anymore because freshers week drains me okay freshers week was enough clubbing to last about two years <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna end this vlog here guys because nothing else much happening this weekend so yeah that's a typical week at uni which you are asked for um i literally spent oh by the way i spent all day today um just stressing out and trying to revise for the exam that i have on tuesday so wish me luck guys um and stressing out about this report that i have to write anyways long story all i know is that university is not as easy as people made it seem okay and all you liars that said that a levels were easier but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll catch you sort of in my next one. Make sure, um, comment down below if you want me to continually like do these weekly vlogs at uni if this is something you guys are interested in. So yeah, I'll catch you a lot in my next video. Bye guys. Y'all better subscribe to my daughter's okay, channel, mom, okay? You don't subscribe to my daughter's channel. Oh,